<clears throat> okay, John Carter of Earth is a movie that came out in 2012, and it was one of Disney's larger bombs. Ironically, it's probably because if you saw the trailer, you really had no idea what this movie was about. And if you, of course, have read the book or had typed in the name John Carter, it's a pretty generic name when you would have gotten an awful lot of different sorts of characters, including even Hawkman. So what's this movie about? <clears throat> you have Captain John Carter, who is a Civil War veteran. Okay, He inadvertently runs into a somewhat immortal race that appears to teleport across the planets, and in doing so he accidentally gets teleported to Mars in the middle of one of their civil wars between the, the Reds and the Blues. And that's because you have two different races of humans that live on Mars. Ironically, there's a scientist who recently said that human life may have, that my life may have begun on Mars and then transformed and transported to Earth on a, on a meteor. So, the weird thing is, a lot of the movie is spent dealing with the background between the Reds and the Blues, and John Carter is taken in by the Tharks. Tharks are, well, they're about 8 to 10 foot tall four-armed creatures with two tusks. The problem when he's dealing with those is there's so many of them and they really do seem to lack personality. As they're talking, it's kind of like, okay, which one is that? They really don't give us that much in the way of names. It was pretty much, okay, we've got the leader, we've got the one covered in, covered in scars, and we've got the one with one tusk. And then hundreds and hundreds of other ones. So it's pretty much, you know, what does, will he help one side in the Civil War? Does he just want to get home? Does he actually want to stay there? And then while that's going on, so that, that's your middle portion of the movie, it's bookend by somebody who's reading his memoirs. It's a unique movie. From a science fiction standpoint, it's actually pretty good. You know, all, all things considered. They do a good job when it comes to the majority of the special effects. There are some times when it gets kind of cheesy. And you can very easily tell that this movie does borrow a lot of different scenarios from other science fiction movies. You can tell moments where they're flying the, let's call them, solar skiffs. You do get that feeling of, oh, all they're missing now is a bunch of Ewoks and some forests. So, it is actually pretty decent. I think it's Taylor Hitch is the, the main character. He was there who was Gambit for all of like 30 seconds. Does a pretty decent job. You know, when they when they show most of the people, most of the humans that are on Mars, or I guess Martians that are on Mars, that are little human, there's a lot of henna ink on everybody. It was an interesting movie. It was done very well. A very different sort of film. I can really understand why it did horrible box office. If you went there thinking this was going to be more of a of an Earth-based film, no. If you thought it was entirely going to be him on an alien planet, out of the little over two hours, the majority of it is there, but there's still bits and pieces where he's going back and reminiscing about what happened, occasionally kind of like the person reading his memoirs. It's a very difficult sort of movie to try to explain. A lot of it is just, it's a person transported to another world stuck in their civil war. 